The committee's inception, which was in January 2023, prompted by complaints from some of the vendors accusing municipal authorities led by Mayor Emmanuel Sentaro Biamdisha and Prasit Hirire, the assistant program officer in charge of community development in the Ministry of Local Government, of mismanaging the relocation exercise. According to the vendors, the municipal leaders were allegedly involved in accepting bribes ranging from 2 million to 50 million shillings to allocate stalls and lockups to unknown individuals, civil servants, and even their own relatives. In response to the growing outcry, Minister for Local Government Rafael Majezi took decisive action by convening a lengthy meeting with Kabale municipality authorities and the district security officials at a hotel in Kabale. However, recognizing the gravity of the situation after interviewing vendors at the market, he organized an additional meeting in Makanga to hear directly from the affected parties. During this meeting, 36 vendors came forward and accused the municipality officials of being complicit in the alleged extortion activities. The arrested individuals have been identified as Andrew Beja, the Kabale Municipality Health Inspector, Wilson Agaba, the chairman of the relocations team, and Alex Mohumza, a member of the registration team. Following the meeting, Majezi promptly ordered the arrests of Beja, Mohumza and Agaba as they were giving contradictory statements while attempting to defend themselves against the accusations. Despite Kankwasa being on the run, Majezi vowed to bring him to justice. Additionally, he declared that Biamsha and other officials associated with the Ministry of Local Government, who oversaw the allocation exercise, would undergo an investigation to determine their involvement. There are certain challenges you cannot agree with that a vendor has more than two facilities in the market when others do not have anything. That you have somebody who is renting a government facility. Now you know that in terms of fees, these people will pay about maybe 100, 150,000 per month. But they are being charged 300,000, 600,000 by the so called landlord. So it's a government facility. We're going to make sure that it is implemented according to the law. Disgruntled vendors shared their frustrations during the meeting. They expressed their dismay at being left without lockups and stalls, despite having operated in the old market before its demolition for the construction of a modern one. <laughs> Majezi, during the same function, shared findings from a committee that he had established to investigate the relocation process. He also announced a new relocation verification exercise for vendors in order to guarantee that the market is occupied by its rightful occupants. We've taken the decision, which to me is the only way to make sure that the resettlement of vendors into the market follows the Markets Act 2023, which I now have, which I have to implement. Therefore, within one month, we are going to redo the reallocation exercise so that we follow the law to the letter. The arrested committee members were whisked away to Kavale Central Police Station, where they would await further legal proceedings. The minister's actions have been hailed by vendors and the authorities, instilling a renewed sense of hope in the ongoing process. 